Okay, I have another unboxing for you. Um, and again, I opened it. I really need to learn how to tie these things back up. But I got a little treat. It came with the little tag in the ribbon, which I don't use, but I keep. I'm probably going to have to like rent a storage unit to put all my luxury good boxes because i don't like to get rid of them i'm sorry um i know some people sell them on poshmark that's too much work for me um so anyway so i got a little something again i was online at like 11 o'clock i sometimes when i can't sleep i just get on just to see what's in stock i know that is so lame but I think it's fun and for Mother's Day they've been having so many things in stock like the new on the go um, ombre bag I'll put it right here that's been in stock a couple times online um, the vanity case that I've been wanting forever but I already bought the other makeup bag and if you saw the video I just bought another Chanel wallet so I'm like okay that I like need to like rein it in and um, but anyway I was online and I saw this and I had been wanting it for forever. And I was like, you know what? Let me get it because it's one of those things where it's like a classic. And it's, I personally like have been never seen it online or haven't seen it along, online in a long time in this print. I've seen it in the Damier Ben before and in like the male version that's like the gray monogram. But I've never seen, I'm sure it's gone up, but I've never seen this one up online so I was so excited let me pull it out and I got the little clay I think yeah clay key pouch or something um or something some people call it like I think online it doesn't say clay anymore um but that was the name of it and I got it in the monogram when I was in Hawaii I was gonna purchase this and they only had it in the damier um and I decided against it I'm glad I waited this is so cute you know the more I think about it I'm not a huge fan of the Damier Ben. I feel like the only bags that I like in that print are the Alma BB, the Neverfull, which I have, only because I feel like the Neverfull is such like a workhorse bag, and it's a bag that you're gonna use a lot, and the other one, like the Vachetta, I, in my opinion, it looks really crusty. Like, I feel like in some bags it looks good. So, and the Neverfulls, I personally don't like when it starts um, getting dark. I think it look, makes the bag look kind of ugh. But anyway. And the Speedies, and like the Speedy 25, like specifically the small one. But anyway, so I had already bought the um, mini pochette accessoire, so I was so excited to see this online, and I said, you know what, let me buy it. I think the price increase on these are ridiculous. I think it's crazy that this is $325. It was $200 for so long, and then it was like $205, and then it literally jumped to $325. I think that's insane. But anyway, it comes with this little chain um I had it connected to my keys and it opens which I was trying to I, I have already been using this so this is kind of like a cheating unboxing I have been using this for the, the last couple weeks and I took off my keys to to show you guys this and it's such a pain in the ass to open it you like push it back and this opens and this is my key I'm gonna go ahead and and slide this sucker in there you go okay so it will hold I had the six key ring but the problem is that these key fobs are just so thick that it would stick out and mine has gotten really ugly like I need to get it reglazed and it's just dirty it's old and this one is just so cute and I already have cards in it um, let me open it. It did come with the little, um, the little authenticity cards and it holds your cards perfectly. So right now I'm carrying the Pochette Matisse, which honestly, ugh, I can like do a whole other video. I feel like I have a love hate, um, relationship with that bag. Like, I feel like it's so cute, but I feel like, and it's so convenient because it's a crossbody, but I feel like it doesn't hold anything. Um, I think the three compartments are annoying. I wish it was just one big compartment. And I don't like that the lock gets scratched because it has like the little peg that needs to go in. It's like the S lock, I think it's called. 
so I like love it and hate it at the same time but anyway so that one doesn't fit my zippy wallet um, it'll probably fit my new Chanel wallet um, but anyway so I just put my my ID my health insurance uh, my debit and credit card my Sam's card literally show you my Sam's card so I have all these cards in here so five and they fit very comfortably like you still have this part where nothing's in here the zipper smooth just isn't this so cute and like I had to I put gas and I got down to get a little breakfast taco at my gas station and I just got this down I didn't have to take my purse down and everything so it's just so convenient and I've been wanting this for such a long time I'm so glad I got it it's like I'm terrified of these price increases like imagine if those are like $400 or what are the aren't the pochette accessoires now $750 to me that's so nuts for what it is I mean I'm glad I bought mine I still think it's crazy that I paid $500 for it I feel like that's like a $400 type little pouch like and I know that's why they're doing it but it's just like insane and I'm saying it's insane and then my dumbass is still buying the things so it is what it is but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed my little unboxing and I'll see you guys on the next one bye why do I do